internet, it is I, Hewlett, with an upgrade update for you, and I have been googling the interweb, so look out. Lots of tweets this week about OpenBCI. That is Joel and Connor. They're out of Brooklyn, New York, and I'm so enamored with what these guys are up to. OpenBCI, uh, they basically, they are taking an open source approach to bring computer interface innovation. So they're they're creating the technologies and the tools and the and the and the community possible to well to basically revolutionize brain research. Um, and I'm in. I'm like I'm so want to be a part of this. Um, I dived in. I've I've pledged my way into an EEG headset, um, which I'm very much looking forward to playing with. And as is Q, I'm hoping to take this technology and incorporate it into um, upgrade required. Um, obviously Q's. Uh, Q's quest to become a cyborg, and this could be the brain-computer interface that we were looking for. And OpenBCI have, have wonderfully have taken an interest, and they are partnering up with us on Upgrade Required to help make that possible. So thrilled about that. So thrilled to be able to help, even just in a tiny way, waving my arms around and hopefully getting other people excited about this. They have a new stretch goal that involves this programmer called Gall. He's been programming since he was like eight years old. Uh, he gets ALS. He realizes what's coming. He knows that uh, you know machines can breathe for him and they can feed him and they can do a lot of the boring administrative stuff that bodies do, but they can't tell his daughter that he loves her. And so he says, how am I going to solve this from a programmer standpoint? And he starts programming and he creates Click to Speak, which is this on-screen keyboard which can tie into eye tracking and, and different inputs that would allow him to communicate with his computer and thus communicate with the world and his daughter and his family and be an active and, and, and participating part of society. He's done an amazing job of this. You know, he's now using his own technology to continue developing his own technology. OpenBCI wants to get Gaul a headset, but do it, build one, and print it specifically for him using as advanced scanning as they possibly can of his, of his head. So they can get a very, like, minute measurements and make a headset specifically for him, and so he can start using this technology and integrating it with his click to speak and continuing to sort of revolutionize um, communication for people with, with uh, advanced stage uh, ALS and, and other conditions that, um, that, that would require uh, uh, computers to communicate for you. Amazing stuff! Get involved if you can, it's worth it. You wanna say you were there when. That's all I'm saying. So, these are the things that have me all excited, all a-fluttering or twittering this week. Um, I've been doing my research into EEG, what exactly an EEG is, electroencephalogram, you know, this recording of brain activity, how does it work? How do these 10 billion neurons that are in our, our craniums function? Um, I mean, obviously a life's work, but I wanna get a dummy's guide to it, um, and perhaps I shall share that with you in the future. Um, but until we get again, cheerio!